Hello everybody, we are back again live today. And today we're gonna to be cooking up some beautiful ahi tuna. We have this on feature this week for $21.99 a pound. And we are gonna do a very classic, uh, sort of a take on a classic uh, sesame seared tuna. So definitely tune in, hit that share button, let your friends know that we are live because uh, we are gonna be making up some good stuff today. And this is a really easy dish. This cooks up super fast, and you can do this kind of as an anytime sort of thing. Super, super easy. And to get started, I'm gonna get my pan going because we want this really hot when we start cooking. Um, but before we cook, I'm gonna go ahead and prep kind of our side for this, which I'm gonna make just a little bit of a, kind of a green salad. I've got just the general spring mix here. You can use kind of whatever you like, but I find that the spring mix works really, really well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to thinly slice up some onions. Again, I like very thin shaved for this kind of preparation. So I'm just going to kind of thinly slice this here. And I'm going to add my onions to my bowl, like so. In addition to the onions, I've also got these really nice little cherry tomatoes. These are beautiful right now. This will add a little bit of a sweetness, a little bit of an acidity. So I'm going to go ahead and just half some of these. These are a multicolored cherry tomato, which I kind of like just for the aesthetic. But again, you can use sort of whatever you want. And I'm just going to trim these up again in half for our salad. Again, there's just something about a seared tuna steak on top of a nice green salad that's just really, really, really nice. So, uh, it's just a very clean, kind of healthy sort of dish. Um, but also big on flavor, really delicious. And we want to cook that tuna pretty rare. Um, this is a sashimi grade tuna. So, it can be served, you could use this for sushi, you could use this for poke, you could do a lot of different things with this. I've also got a cucumber here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut up a portion of this cucumber, and I'm just gonna cut it kinda in pretty basic little half moons. And you can do them kind of as thick or as thin as you want. I like them a little bit on the thinner side. So very, very simply, like so. And this is gonna go right in to our bowl. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this with just a little bit of salt to season it. And I'm gonna dress it with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Just like so. Just a little bit of a light finishing. So we're gonna actually build a sauce for the tuna. So splash the rice wine vinegar. And for fun, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this chili oil for just a little bit of warmth. Again, this is a, a chili infused sesame oil. So really, really nice. My pan is ripping hot here, which is exactly what I want. I was maybe getting a little bit too warm. So I'm gonna take it off for just a second. Well, I toss this salad together, and then this will just hang out while we go ahead and make our tuna, which is very, very easy to do. All right, so salad is all set up and ready to go. So I'm just going to set this behind me here while we go ahead and prepare for our tuna, which I have here. Again, this really nice tuna steak. And what I want to do is I want to crust this with some sesame seeds. So what I've got here, this is actually a spicy sesame seed. These are really, really nice uh, and work really, really well with this tuna. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle the tuna kind of generously with the sesame seeds. And go ahead and flip this over here. We wanna, again, get kind of a pretty good crust on here. That should do us pretty well. Um, this is a spicy sesame seed. You can get this from our friends over at United Noodle. This is really great. 
Um, we also carried just the regular white sesame seeds, which would work really well here. So kind of whatever you like. Um, but I like the spicy sesame seeds. Again, they're not really super spicy. They just add a little bit of a warmth to the tuna, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is good and coated. Perfect. And I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt as well. Now I've got my pan on, it's good and hot. So I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil to the pan. Now you wanna use a pretty high heat oil for this. We're not looking to do this in olive oil because um, it's too hot and olive oil has a tendency to kind of take on a not great flavor when it gets really, really, really hot. So for this kind of high heat application, you always wanna to try to use some sort of neutral oil. So I've got my tuna, let me show you off here. Really nice, that beautiful spicy sesame crusted tuna. Very easy to do. My oil is going, it's looking pretty hot. So just like everything else, we're gonna take the tuna and we're gonna set it down in the pan and lay away from us. So I'm gonna cook this basically one minute per side. Um, because again, we wanna keep it pretty rare on the inside. We're not looking to cook this tuna through. We just wanna get a nice sear on the outside. And that's gonna get, create kind of a nice little flavor profile for us. And while that goes, we're gonna go ahead and make just a kind of a simple little dressing for this. Um, I'm gonna grab my whisk here. And yeah, this will work. Grab my whisk. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this is called gochujang. This is a fermented uh, soybean paste that is, it's got some nice heat to it. This is used in a lot of Korean cooking. Again, really nice stuff. So I'm gonna just use like a couple of tablespoons of this, like so, in the bowl. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. This is gonna be kind of like a vinaigrette. Almost, I'll add a little bit more of our rice wine vinegar. I'm gonna add some more of our chili oil. Like so. And I'm gonna add just a squeeze of lime juice. And what I'm gonna do here, our tuna's looking pretty good, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it a flip. Oh yeah, that's real nice. I'm gonna cook it for about the same amount of side on the other, uh, same amount of time on the other side. So I've got my kind of vinaigrette here. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this together. It's looking real nice. Again, this is a pretty simple dressing. You could do this with a lot of different ingredients. Um, you could do a more traditional mustard-based vinaigrette if you wanted. Uh, that would work really well here and make it a little bit, uh, a little bit more French, if you will. There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So what I want to do while this tuna is finishing, which is just about done here, let's go ahead and give it a quick peek. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this from the heat and I'm gonna let it sit and just kind of rest for a minute while we finish off our dish here. Again, this is super fast. This is a really very, very simple thing to make, um, but it's really delicious. So I'm gonna got my salad greens. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on the plate, like so. Really nice, get some of the tomatoes, get some of those cucumbers. Just beautiful. Like so. I'm gonna take my tuna. And this is where uh, having a really sharp knife is helpful. Because again, you don't want to crush the tuna. So you just wanna cut it as best as you can. You can see we've got this nice 
sear on the outside, but the tuna is still nice and pink on the inside. This is, this is really what we're gunning for here. You can see, again, we've got the nice crust on the outside and the tuna is nice and rare on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut some slices of this that we're gonna use for our really nice plate of greens. Like so. Just go ahead and set that right on top. Again, this is always a really pretty plate of food and very, 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 very easy to make. And we've got our tuna down, and I've got my dressing, which I'm just going to kind of drizzle over the top here. This is going to be really nice. Very simple. And there we have it. Let's go ahead and garnish with a little fresh lime wedge. Like so. And there we have it. Just a really beautiful, nice plate of seared tuna with just a very simple gochujang vinaigrette. So it doesn't get easier than that, but this is delicious. This is super packed with flavor, really, really easy. We have kind of a take on this recipe on our website. So if you're interested there, it went out in the newsletter today as well um, for a tuna tataki salad. Very similar to this. The dressing's a little different. You can kind of do it however you want, but really, really simple. Again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching. This has been great. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun doing this. And then everybody who comes down to the store who's seen these, they always like to chat us up, which is super cool too. Also, everybody's been super patient and great. We were very busy yesterday, which was great. It was such a good turnout. Um, and we were running all day long trying to get stuff for everybody. And everybody was super cool about it, super patient. So we really appreciate that. And if you make these dishes that we're making online, please share us, tag us, all of that. We always want to see what you've got going on. And if you have questions, whether it's cooking related, uh, seafood related, whatever, put them in the comments and I will answer those to the best of my ability. Again, we really appreciate you all tuning in. This was super fun. Um, if you happen to check, we are doing a tuna giveaway this week, which I posted this morning. It's already huge. We've got tons of comments and shares and the whole thing. So maybe you've seen that already, but if not, definitely look on our Facebook feed. It is there um, for your chance to win one pound of Aki tuna, which you could make this, this weekend if you were so inclined. So definitely do that. We'll announce the winner at 11 on Friday, as we always do. But thanks so much for tuning in. This is great. And we will talk to you tomorrow.